Hi there. <clears throat> a few days ago I got a question regarding uh, fill ports. Uh, how they work and how they can be um, how they can be made in your home workshop. Um, and I tend to use two different types of fill ports or rather two different types of pressure vessels for my guns. Uh, one is the tube type and the other one is the is the body bottle type and if you get a if you buy a, a new body bottle is it is often fitted with a Schrader valve inside the bottleneck uh, valve housing a Schrader valve is the same type of valve that is fitted to your car tires uh, it's a valve that um, it lets air into the, the bottle and it stops it from leaking out. A Schrader valve has to be it's fitted with a small pin that needs to be pushed in order to release the air. And um, the advantage of using a Schrader valve in the bottle is that you can uh, you can unscrew the bottle and um, without having to depressurize it and that can be convenient. Um, the other type of pressure vessel is like I said a tube type and most of these tubes are fitted with some sort of fill port in, in the is often situated in the muscle end of the rifle. Um, okay, so we can, we can start with this one. Here's how most uh, of these tube type pressure vessels are, are made up. They have uh, an end plug. Um, here's a section through the end plug and, and the pressure pipe here. Uh, and this area here is where the high pressurized air is stored. <coughs> this is supposed to uh, be the hole where the fill probe is inserted when you're, when you're filling your gun. Uh, so this is a part that would be very easy to make if you own, if you happen to have a lathe in your workshop. Um, it's just basically a round plug threaded to fit inside uh, the the female threads of the uh, air tube, um, and the end plug is drilled from the inside. A tiny hole that goes out to the fill probe hole. This um, tiny hole here. It's, it would be enough with just one millimeter in diameter or 1.5 or two millimeters if you prefer that. Um, this hole here is uh, drilled and tapped for uh, for a screw and um, uh, the size actually doesn't matter. The easiest way to make a check valve here to, to keep the air from going out again is to fit a uh, one countersunk Allen head screw here in this thread. Hope this shows up. A countersunk screw is pictured very oversized here. You can probably go with a with a M4 or maybe M5 size screw, um, and then the real trick is to fit an o-ring here. So the o-ring takes up this space here and what happens is when you insert the fill probe into the fill probe hole and you push the high pressurized air into the air tube and uh, when you bleed off the pressure in the fill probe uh, hose and uh, remove your fill probe, then the high pressurized air is going to squeeze the o-ring um, in between the uh, screw head here and the, uh, and the end plug and thereby sealing it and making sure that the air doesn't escape again. It's very very simple and it's very effective. Um, there are other ways um, to make a check valve here you can use a small spring-loaded plunger uh, fitted with an O-ring, but 
that's just extra work because this uh, this design works very very well and is easy to make from from readily available parts I mean a countersunk allen head screw and an o-ring and that's all you need and drills and taps of course uh, this is what it looks like in real life this is an old FX air tube and uh, the end plug here it's, like I said it screws in here here's one neat feature of the FX design and that is that the o-ring is uh, fitted up uh, in this end of the thread because that means that even if you forget to depressurize your pressure tube uh, and you start to unscrew it then uh, the pressure will you know you it will bleed off before uh, you have unscrewed it that far if the o-ring was put in the other end of the thread it would be uh, very dangerous because then you would be able to uh, unscrew this part uh, and still keeping the pressure here so this is a better design with the o-ring up here it's safer anyway okay uh, the <clears throat> here's a homemade uh, check valve I'll see if I can unscrew it with my fingers um, it's a piece of brass I turned yeah I took a brass rod turned the uh, I don't know what degree taper it has but uh, it has a taper to it try to get a nice surface finish uh, I even filed away some of the threads to uh, make it easier for the air to uh, to squeeze itself through the threads anyway that's all there is to it this is a check valve uh, and this could instead be a a countersunk allen head screw but uh, I didn't have any countersunk allen head screws in this size so I turned one piece of brass instead fit it with an o-ring and thread it in there and it works like a charm okay very simple here's a here's a basic uh, fill probe design it's very simple. You just turn a piece of metal um, at the proper size to fit into this fill probe hole in your end plug. Uh, turn two O-ring grooves, uh, drill it through uh, and cross drill, hook it up with a with a hose in that end and you know connect it to your hand pump or scuba bottle or whatever that's all there is to it two o-rings uh, and when you you know you put it into the fill port hole and start pumping or opening your bottle those o-rings will seal against uh, uh, the end plug that's a very simple design but it's very effective okay This here is also uh, a fill port and it, it accepts the same uh, fill probe as the, the two type end plug I showed you before. Uh, this fill, quick fill, quick fill port adapter is, is also made to, to offset the, uh, the pressure vessel from the the valve housing because the valve and discount lies pretty close to the barrel and that is done just in order to be able to keep the, the length of the transfer the air transfer port as short as possible to keep uh, dead space as low as possible in the in the mechanisms um, but fitting the, the valve close to the barrel uh, means that you don't get enough room between the bottle and the barrel so in order to take care of that I machined this piece here 
uh, and it has a threaded fitting that you don't see in this picture uh, but it's in here and it hooks up the um, this uh, adapter block to the receiver and then the hole for the body bottle thread is obviously drilled a little bit under here I'll make a rough, rough sketch of it here is how this uh, what can I call it fill port offset adapter piece works uh, body bottle screws into this piece here uh, sealed with an o-ring uh, and this is section through this uh, then you have to have an, an air passage up through the uh, outlet end of this uh, here is the hole for the fill probe and when you're cutting and drilling and tapping in this outlet hole you at the same time uh, drill through a small tiny hole into the fill port fill probe hole and then uh, drill and tap for an M4 or M5 screw here uh, once again use a countersunk head allen screw or a countersunk torx head uh, and fit it with an o-ring and this is your this is your quick fill port and this is the check valve for the quick fill port here and then you have to you know cut and thread some sort of adapter to fit into your receiver of the gun uh, and uh, I suggest that you if you start building guns or using guns that you stay with one or try to stick with one uh, one size of threads uh, because it's easier to be able to you know swap parts between different guns and so and most of the time I use I use a thread called quarter inch BSP which I do believe stands for British Pipe uh, BSP sorry <laughs> British Standard Parallel as a common pipe thread uh, or go with whatever thread you feel uh, Okay, that's about it, I think. Uh, and once again, I'm very sorry for for this uh, video camera. I know it's it's crappy and makes noises and everything, and I'm sorry for my language. Uh, okay, feel free to comment and ask questions. Thanks.